Josh, um, headed out to the hoop house today and um, I encountered a horned worm on one of my tomatoes. Now, if you've ever grown tomatoes, you've probably run into this problem before. If you've grown tomatoes in a hoop house, you've most certainly run into this problem before. Um, and, and, and what it is, is, is this little green critter, this little caterpillar right there. I have two of them in here that I spotted at least. He's right there, and then all the way up here at the top is his dad, it looks like. Anyway, these worms will do an absolute number on your tomatoes. And what it is, is it's a moth. A moth comes in here on the tomatoes and um, will lay eggs, typically under a, a, a leaf like this, near the top of your tomato plants. Now, tobacco also uh, suffers with these things. But anyways, um, it is really, really challenging to keep moths out of a hoop house. And so that's why they're a little more susceptible in here than, than the outdoors. Uh, nonetheless, they feast on tomatoes and they will wreak havoc on your plants. So you can see here like th this damage right here. This was done by one of those horned worms. Uh, out here where all the leaves and whatnot have been stripped and damaged. They'll also get into uh, an actual tomato, the actual fruit. Let me see if I can't find one that uh, had some uh, of this horn worm damage. Uh, I apologize, I am not finding anything right now. But, oh, right here, look at this. This particular tomato right there. That got chewed on by one of those horned worms. Anyways, they will do a lot of damage and it takes them no time to really tear up uh, your plants. They also like um, pepper plants and you can see right behind my tomato plants are pepper plants. And, um, and I've had a little bit of issue with them on my peppers this year, but not too bad. We've done a good job. If you're like me and you are growing your produce chemical free in other words no herbicides no pesticides and no uh, fertilizers it's kind of hard to keep these things off obviously a herbicide or a pesticide is going to uh, take care of it it's going to eliminate that problem but we are not in the practice of using uh, pesticides we're going all natural so um, what's really interesting if you do a google search uh, for these horn worms and how to eliminate them the natural way they'll say good tillage well here's the other thing um, if you're practicing um, as as close to beyond organic sustainable good for the soil agriculture you know that tillage is not a good thing um, it's hard on on the soil and so uh, the google search the, one of the first articles that comes up that says the best way to eliminate horn worms is to till really well in the spring and uh, you'll eliminate 90 percent of your problem well um, I'm not doing that either, especially here in the hoop house. So what I've found, uh, and it's an old wives tale, or I don't know, I don't know if it's a wives tale because the tales to me seems like it's not true. But anyways, I found it to be pretty effective is cayenne pepper. They do not like cayenne pepper. And so what I'll do is I'll come out here and I'll just sprinkle typically up at the top of the plant because um, that's where they like to lay their eggs. That's where they tend to go and feast is at the top of the plant. So I'll sprinkle this cayenne pepper on there. And um, for whatever reason, um, it, it deters them a little bit. It, doesn't, it certainly doesn't eliminate the problem, but it definitely deters them. And so that's what I'm going to do here as well. Also, when you do find the little boogers, like this guy here in a second, I'm going to come by here and I'm going to grab him. Typically, I just clip the plant because honestly, I don't, we don't need this. Um, and I'll clip that up there, but anyways, and then uh, I'm gonna turn my problem, that hornworm, into a solution. He's gonna become chicken feed. Let me tell you, my chickens love these things. You talk about a nice, big, plump, juicy bug. Woo! They're in hog heaven when they get one of those. So I'm gonna take care of these. I'm gonna throw on some uh, cayenne pepper and hopefully uh, deter these little critters from tearing up any more to my, my tomatoes. Thanks for tuning in. My gosh, it's hot in there. I've been out of the place for three, five minutes and I'm still sweating like a banshee. 110 degrees in there. Of course, 
I went out there earlier today and saw that my fan had died on me and uh, so that doesn't help to not have any air movement in there for most of the day but anyways I got a little rinky dink box fan in there that's not gonna do much good but it's better than nothing anyway so like I said earlier we're gonna turn our problem into a solution and we're gonna feed these two critters and that pepper because I accidentally kicked over a pepper plant I'm gonna feed these guys to the chickens they're gonna have quite a treat they're gonna love me for this um, so hey do me a favor and, and help me uh, get this ranked a little better in the Google search so that people looking for a uh, a very natural organic sustainable method of getting rid of these critters is uh, not telling or spraying a pesticide here enjoy oh the other thing is is that cayenne pepper will make you sneeze your head off holy moly I probably sneezed no less than 10 times after that let's see what we got on the egg side of things today I've already been out here once today and collected. I find that the more frequently I come out here to collect eggs, the less eggs they eat. Yeah, I know. How rude, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't hurt anything or anyone. You're fine. Anyways, again, man, I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, would you do me a favor and like it? share it subscribe to our channel again get rid of those horned worms with a little bit of cayenne pepper and then feed them things as treats to your chickens